Yeah, then now I'm going to part two of the last video I just spoke about about um, being vigilant when you're on the street, you know what I mean? Especially if you're driving and that. They will set you up with some traps, man. Yeah, I was just speaking about a car that went past the other day and it shot out some fumes from the exhaust. I never smelt something so poisonous before, like. So I've experienced that before, but it ain't happened for a long time. And then, yeah, I've, had, I've experienced like vans pulling up, like raw mill vans or BT vans, just pulling up and you smell a potent stench. That's them basically letting off gases to mess up your senses and all that. So you really got to use your senses. Use all senses, your sight, your smell, intuition, everything, because they're really playing dirty at it. Boy. Once they know they can't break your will, and they, you won't do what they say or you won't conform to what they want you to do. That could be anything, it depends on your targeting. But I know they want me to be a certain way, but I just live my life, you know what I'm saying? They never take my spirit or soul, you know what I mean? So, I don't know what they're, they're up to, but it's crazy, it's crazy, man. But yeah, they've been doing a lot of synchronizations. And um, what, what have I noticed? I noticed that the traffic build up has been ridiculous man it's like every road I travel on they're, either they're doing some road works or the traffic is just unusually just just ridiculous the timing like, I, I, I've been driving I've been doing driving jobs for years and it's just it's, it's, it's crazy and what I've noticed like every type of time that I reach a landmark they want it to be a certain time I reach the landmark it's like they're timing me Every time I get somewhere, like I get to a different job, they want it to be a certain time. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, man. As soon as I get to work, I see a helicopter fly over. As soon as I get to a certain stop or shop, a helicopter goes over or a police siren. As soon as I come back to the house, you hear sirens. Like they've, they've really paid someone. Every time I go in my bathroom, I go to the toilet. They've paid someone recently to rev their engine. Can you believe that? There's someone out there, a gang stalker, who's paid to monitor me when I go to the bathroom. So every time I go to the bathroom, they rev their engine. Are you, are you sit? I can't make this up. Real targets know what I'm talking about. When you go to certain places in your house, like you hear certain noises, whether it be a car alarm, or someone making noise or car revving their engine I can't make this up when I go to my bathroom I hear a car racing or a car revving its engine it's, it's, and that's been going on for a long time but they've just started to ramp it up but yeah man I've been getting some, some decent comments from some targets and that peace goes out to all the targets going through it you know what I mean I'm just saying hold up your head have courage you know what I'm saying? This shit can't go on for too long, man. You know what I mean? So, even if it does, you gotta be the one in pole position. You know what I mean? You gotta be the one fucking giving them hell. You know what I mean? Whatever we're doing on spiritual, you better just pray to the creator to ramp it up so we just get these cunts destroyed and um, get this war over with, man. Because it talks about the war in the Bible and all that Armageddon and spiritual battle between good and evil so obviously we're on the good side but these clowns they can't take it so they're trying to bring the war into the, the physical so um, I don't know man it's crazy man but um, yeah man but I do think you know this 2020 coming up all like real targets should try and make an effort you know what I mean to connect with each other even if it's just online or even one day meet up somewhere, you know what I mean? Have a drink, a coffee, whatever. But you know, a lot of people will fear that because they're being betrayed by people close to them and that. So I understand, because I'm a bit hesitant when people contact me online to get in contact with them. Especially when you're going through stuff. That's why they make it so hard for targets to meet other people. Because you're constantly being tested, constantly going through stuff, constantly being targeted. So if someone brand new just pops up, and starts talking about friendship or oh let's meet up you're thinking oh hell no you know what I mean you could be an agent which you know what I mean 50% of the time it might be an agent but I think I'm at the I'm at the stage where like 
if a fucking fake T.I. tried to link up with me, he, he won't survive, mate. My spirit would just burn into ashes because that's how serious I am, man. Not a lot, not some, a lot of people can't, they can't be around me. If they're not real, they, they, they don't like my presence because my spirit will, my spirit will attack them. And they know this. That's why they fear me, you know what I'm saying? That's why they do all this shit. But no one tries to come near me on that level, like. But, you know, who knows, man? God knows. But yeah, man, what was I gonna say? Yeah, they probably, cause I was listening to some guy, I'm rambling a little bit, but um, I, spoke, I spoke of him already. He's, um, what do they call him? Stop, stop the um, invasion of privacy, some Canadian guy. And he talks about the microchips and that in the eye and all that bullshit. And even before I knew about that microchip business, I said that something went in my eye. And from that time, it went in my eye. I started getting a lot of um, dreams. My dreams was being um, manufactured because they wasn't normal dreams, you know what I'm saying? So he's probably got some, some truth to that. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy, man. But the technology they got, I wouldn't be surprised, man. Trust me, I wouldn't be surprised. I've experienced it, man. Something, well, I opened a straw and something went in my eye. And from that time, it, my dreams was crazy. It's just shit that's went crazy after that. So whether that was a chip or whatever, but he says that when he got chipped, he noticed like just a bubble around him of just negativity. And obviously every target who's being targeted, you know they send people to just fuck up your day basically and be as negative as possible. And he was saying like, um, they, they bring these people in from all walks of life, but the people, they, the target, the perps, they gotta be like some low frequency fucking sellouts. And they're the ones like, you know when you're just walking and they'll spit as soon as you look at them they'll start itching their head or scratching their nose, coughing. That type, that, that's who they employ, like the lowest of the low. Them sellouts, just to give you that negative energy so you can't really breathe, you know what I mean? You can't be happy, even if you're in a happy mood, like, they just do that bullshit to you, man. You know what I'm saying? So, it's funny, man, it's funny. The lengths they go through, man. That like he was saying, like, it's an evil entity, in it, that controls this system. Some may call it the devil, some may say it's an AI, it's an alien or whatever. But it's been controlling the earth for like thousands of years. And that's what it does to people that it can't control. People of light and that. Every time I get to this place when I'm going to work, nine out of 10, helicopter. There's a woman in the red on the left, I don't think you can see her because the camera's not placed properly. But there's a helicopter I can hear. And it's gonna be flying over soon. But yeah, man, it's crazy, man. I was gonna say something else as well. Yeah, he was saying that they've got like a bubble. A lot of people that like, speak about it. It's called like the floating box. Especially when you're driving, they box you in with all colors and do the color codes and shit. So he said that he believes they put the floating bubble around him. And um, it's basically like a three mile radius bubble of like just targets and he was saying something very interesting which I've experienced myself he said that some some of these workplaces or some of these shops and that as soon as they know a targets in the area they put people they move the real employees and they put employees of um, their own to be rude to you or just to stall you up or to do something to your food or just things of that nature. I could believe that because I've been in certain institutions and like the customer service is a, is, is crazy. It's really bad, like it's a shambles. So I can I can believe that they would do that. But obviously people they get bad customer service whether you're being gang stalked or not. So it, it might be true, it might be paranoid, but I've experienced things like that, you know what I mean? But um what else? Yeah, I was just thinking about, you know. TI is not really getting together like that, man. There's a lot of fear, a lot of distrust, a lot of paranoia, you know what I mean? It's like, if you're being targeted, it's not cool. It is so not cool. So the trust level is really gonna be crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, gate six, boss. Yeah, so um, it's 
crazy, man. It's crazy. What was I going to say? Um, but I think the reason why the machine or the devil or the evil entity, whoever's behind this targeting, the reason why they go through such lengths to bring so much distrust to the um, targeted community, because they know that to them that like, we're superheroes in it we're free thinkers we've got soul and we've got spirit you know what i'm saying so basically they don't want us linking up together yeah they don't want us linking up together because basically imagine that it's like a dream team who who would want a dream team linking up together that'd be like the avengers in fucking marvel you know what i'm saying all these different people coming together going through the same thing everyone with their unique talent if you assemble, it'd be crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, the game would be over. Imagine like five targets walking together or just going out for a meal and they're trying to target you. It would look so stupid, like, because we all know the game. They couldn't do, you know what I mean? We all, we all would know the game and what to look out for and we'd just feed off each other's energy. It would be a joke to us. We'll see a helicopter going past, ambulance, we'll just say, like, look at these idiots. That the, the unity and the strength, the bond between genuine targets who really live it. Now imagine if like five, four, you know what I mean? Even three or two. Because all this time I've been targeted, I've only seen like targets really reason with each other over the phone or online or a target speaking to someone who's got an open mind but it's not really being targeted. The only two targets I see link up with some guy from New York. I can't remember his name or his channel. But he covers a lot of good stuff and he linked up with another target from New York, two black guys and they were together talking, that was good because even while they was doing an the interview, they was getting targeted but because they were, they both know the game, like, you know what I mean, it couldn't really phase them they were together, they were in unity, you know what I'm saying, imagine if four, five, six, seven, eight targets, a community of targets would get together, you know what I mean, it'd be like the Avengers you know what I'm saying? They, they couldn't, the game would be over for them. Like, no matter what they throw at us, you know what I'm saying? They couldn't threaten us, they couldn't do anything because you're not alone. You've got a unit, you've got a team to rely on, you know what I mean? Everyone could help if a target got fired from his job. A few targets could put something together if they're not working. This one, if that one couldn't do this, you could stay with that one. It'd be like a support network, you know what I mean? But obviously, the game is rigged, man. You know what I mean? They'd do anything to keep you away from good people. And a lot of um, agents will pose as targets and ruin it for the, the genuine ones. Because if a target, if I'm making a bond with a target and I feel like, yeah, I can feel his story, you know what I mean? I'm, I feel sorry for him. And then I meet him up and then he's fucking an agent because I sense it. You know what I mean? Or I see him doing something, what the fucking perps do. That would be crazy, you know what I mean? That would break my trust in ever meeting up with a, a so-called target. But, um... Yeah, man, just, I was just thinking about that, to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, as I, st as I stressed in the last video, watch out for these people. They will poison you. It, it, you don't even need to eat nothing for them to poison you. They will use objects. They will sprinkle whatever chemical they got or whatever biological warfare. Because I was hit yesterday with biological warfare, what really put me in discomfort. It crawled all over my skin. It felt like it went into my body. All the back of my brain was like hurting. My arms went numb. You know what I'm saying? My skin was irritated. All my forehead was irritated. So yeah, you really got to be careful, man. Because they're really playing dirty, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking about getting one of those little masks. What them um, Chinese people walk up and down with. Like when I'm on the street. Like oxygen. You know, like to cover your mouth from the dust and that. Because even at work, I'm not safe, man. And these people at work, they're really pissing me off. They're like fucking mobbing me like shit, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they won't stop, man. You know what I'm saying? Leaving colour codes, dropping hints, fucking directed conversations, blocking my path, doing all type of bullshit, man. Overloading me with work, trying to make me get back late. You know what I mean? Locking the gates, doing all... Just making your life misery, basically. But, um... Yeah, I still got to hang in there, man, you know what I mean? But yeah, I can't really think of nothing else, so I'll let this video um, wind down. It's coming to about 15 minutes. 
But yeah, peace to all real targets, man. Hang in there, man. Fuck, man. You have to, bro. You can't let these cockroaches beat you, man. It, I can't. I want rivers to rest, man. If I die knowing these people beat me, man, oh, I, I, I couldn't rest in peace, man. I have to get my revenge somehow, man. I just have to, bro. You know what I'm saying? They really touched. They touched the nerve. Last week, I was with my little boy, and he said that, "Oh, daddy, my hand's hurting," and he pointed to his palm. And like I said, what happened? I said, it's just hurting him. Then I thought to myself, that's the same shit they do to me. They fucking that feel like a needle's pricking in my palm. Like, and they really put pressure on it. So then I knew that they um they attacked my boy with that weapon. And he's only five years old, you know what I'm saying? So that made my blood boil, man. So I'm just praying to the higher power to give me the power to destroy these fucking cockroaches, man. And if I get the chance, I'm gonna fucking eradicate them basically so you know i know i've got the power man i know it's there if i didn't they won't fuck with me but it's just it's brewing man it's brewing it's just waiting for the right trigger and when it fucking goes off it's going to be a fucking rap i swear but yeah apart from that yeah that's it man i'll talk to you later man peace